This is quite unprecedented, is it not? The minister uh, says he's taken note of your puerile attempt to silence her. She also warns that a jackass can kick down a barn, but it takes a good carpenter to build one. This is unbelievable mudslinging. The gloves are off. <laughs> Thank you very much for inviting me. And thanks to your good morning to your uh, listeners. But I think I should just respond immediately by saying I'm not at all going to dignify the minister's response uh, with an answer. So let's leave it at that. You see, behind the controversy that is currently raging, uh, which is the subject of what we're talking about, is the ambition sure. of an individual who desperately wants to become the president of South Africa in the near future. So at this end, she is willing to use all means, fair and foul, to attain uh, the objective. Um, you know, at the beginning of this week, uh, I wrote this article in response to the article of uh, Minister Lindy Wasisul, who is the Minister of Tourism, and I described the article as extraordinary, actually. So I, I took issue with the whole thrust of the article, its spirit, its contents, but uh, three aspects in particular uh, got my goat. One, it was uh, its timing, given, given the then impending conference of the African National Congress celebrating its uh, 110th birthday in Bulugwan. It was clear that releasing this article at this stage was bound to deepen the already existing divisions within the organization. You know, secondly, the attack on the leadership, uh, as in, I don't mean the individuals, as in how the organization is led, um, was, was, was just un, un, unprecedented. It's not unprecedented, but it was extraordinary, as I said. Current events, developing stories, Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.